Hello students, this is Oshini from Chinta.com. Today, I'm really excited to share with you one new resource for ISI and CMI entrance aspirants. This is available in our website by the end of this week. But I want to show you one of the features of this particular tool. There are four features. I will show you one of them. And while I show you the feature, we'll also try a very interesting problem from algebra. How to handle two variable quadratic equation as if they are one variable equations. This is a very powerful method often used to solve complex two variable equations. We will learn all of that. But first, let me show you the tool quickly okay this is known as the problem bank tool it contains all the problems all the objective problems from the book test of mathematics at 10 plus 2 level it's a very essential book published by east west press it contains the past problems from isi bstat and bmath entrances so what we have done is that we wanted you to try the problems on your own. Not look at solutions, but try the problems on your own. Maybe with a hint. So, let me show you what's going on. I will go to this particular portal and I'll type in problem number 341 because that's the problem that I want to try. So, I'll click on that and immediately the problem opens up, of course. Now, sometimes there could be some error. So you can put a comment here in the bottom of the screen. There is a little panel where you can plug in the error, type it in and let us know so that we can fix it. But in general, what you can do is you can look at the problem, of course, read the problem. And then if you are unable to solve the problem on your own, you can initially see the hint. So if I click on show hint, you can immediately see that something is coming up. I'm not going to, you know, pause a lot for at this point because I want you to try this problem. So I'll just hide the hint. But after trying the problem, if you're unable to do it, even with the hint, you will have an opportunity to look at the solution. But again, no one has learned beautiful mathematics by looking into solutions. So try the problems on your own. Use the hint if necessary. Now, once you do it, of course, this particular toggle will change from not attempted to attempted. So uh, hopefully by the end of May or June, whenever the ISI enter up to the ISI and CMI entrances, you will be able to complete all the not attempted to attempted. So let's see. Uh, so what does this problem say? The problem says that there is a quadratic equation in two variables. Uh, it says that 2x squared plus y square plus 2xy minus 2y plus 2 is equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation. We want to find out all solutions of this equation. So all real numbers x and y which satisfies this equation. The way we are going to approach it is like this. We will think of this equation as a quadratic in x and we will pretend as y is a constant number so let's see how we can do that we will put all the y's together so this is 2x square plus 2 times y times x plus y square minus 2y plus 2 is equal to 0 we are pretending that y is a constant okay if y is a constant then if there is a real number x that satisfies this equation then the discriminant of this quadratic must be greater than or equal to zero it's a quadratic in x if you are pretending y to be a constant then it's a quadratic in x if it is it, it has a solution either one solution or two solutions then the discriminant of this quadratic 
the discriminant has to be greater than or equal to zero. What is the discriminant? The discriminant is b square minus 4ac. b square is 2y square y whole square minus 4 times 2 times y square minus 2y plus 2. This must be greater than or equal to 0. Or we have 4y square minus 4 into 2 times y square minus 2y plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. I can cancel off the 4. So y square minus 2y square plus 4y minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. Now I can simplify further minus y square plus 4y minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 which means if I take a negative sign common it's y square minus 4y plus 4 greater than or equal to 0 which essentially means y minus 2 whole square is greater than or equal to 0. Now this can only be possible if y is equal to 2. Otherwise, it's a negative sign times a square quantity. Whatever you put in the place of y, if it doesn't make it 0, it will become negative, which we don't want. So the only way this works is if y is equal to 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in 2 back into the equation and we will figure out the value of x. And this is where the challenge is. I want you to try this. This last line is really simple. There is nothing really to do. You just plug in the value of y back in the main equation. So in this particular equation, you just plug in y equals to 2, y equals to 2, y equals to 2. And you solve for x, just like a quadratic equation, just like a simple quadratic equation. So can you find the value of x and put it in the comment section? And also tell me how do you like the new tool uh, if you, and if you'd like to get an access of it. Uh, or put it in the comment section. Thank you all for joining in. We will be launching this tool within this week. I will show you more features about it. And I think you'll have some real fun. Take care. Bye.